Hey everyone, it's Russell Holly here. We've got the Moto X. Just got an update, and it looks like we've got some shiny Android 4.4 to play with. Digging right in here, you can see immediately the full screen home screen that makes Android 4.4 stand out. Uh, we can see the printing APIs that have been put in there. We can see art as an optional runtime. Uh, we don't have the Google Experience Launcher. So you can see we swipe around and uh, we get wherever we need to. The, the normal Motorola Launcher is there, and then uh, Google Now can be accessed in the same way. But a lot of these same features are here. You compare it directly to the Nexus 5, and you can see that there's not a whole lot of difference as far as fluid movements. Uh, Android 4.4 is just as smooth. Uh, the Moto X handles it very, very well. Uh, we'll do a quick app launch here just to show you the, the camera between the two. Uh, the Moto X pulls ahead pretty quickly. The, the camera jumps out. The Nexus 5 is a little tiny bit behind. Speaking of that camera, we've got a new uh, tap to focus. It's really kind of a drag around the targeting reticle so that you can focus uh, function there where you can you can kind of drag around and see what's going on uh, and this is uh, you know control focus and exposure this is a new tool that replaces the old tap to focus that was really kind of broken on the original Moto X software so that's a really great direction for this to go we've also got tap and pay which isn't totally necessary on this AT&T version that we have here because it's got uh, Google Wallet sitting right there however it is there for the Verizon version and uh, presumably the Sprint version as well. The update hasn't happened yet, but uh, that's been a quick look at the Moto X running Android 4.4. As you can see, it's the same old Moto X, but it's gotten a little bit faster and a little bit better in the camera. Thanks for watching.